Greetings science enthusiasts, we're thrilled to have you here. Your curiosity and thirst for knowledge are truly commendable. As we embark on today's enlightening journey, we humbly request your support by following our channel, leaving a like, and activating the notification bell, you help us to grow and continue providing you with fascinating content. So, are you ready? Today we delve into the mysterious world of black holes. Prepare yourselves for an enlightening journey. Now, what exactly are black holes? Imagine a place where gravity is so powerful it distorts time, scrambles light, and swallows entire stars. Welcome to the cosmic phenomenon known as black holes. These are not objects in the usual sense but rather regions in space-time where gravitational forces are so intense that nothing, absolutely nothing, can escape their pull. Let's break it down. The term black hole is deeply descriptive. Black because it absorbs all light that hits it, reflecting nothing, just like a perfect black body in thermodynamics. Hole because anything that comes too close be it a wandering star, a beam of light or a wayward planet, is captured forever, never to return. The concept of black holes comes from the equations of Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity, which describes how mass and energy interact with space-time. When a large enough amount of mass becomes concentrated in a sufficiently small area, space-time becomes so intensely curved that a black hole forms. At the heart of a black hole, hidden beneath the event horizon, is a point of infinite density called a singularity. Here, space-time curves infinitely and the laws of physics as we know them cease to operate. Surrounding this singularity is a spherical boundary known as the event horizon, a point of no return beyond which anything that enters can never escape. But how do these cosmic vacuums form? Well, the birth of a black hole is a remarkable event that traces its origins back to the death of a star. Yes, you heard right. Black holes are born out of the remnants of massive stars. When such a star has burned out its fuel supply, it undergoes a dramatic explosion, known as a supernova. Now let's break down this process. Our story begins with a star, significantly bigger than our sun. For most of its life, the star maintains a delicate balance between the force of gravity, pulling everything inwards, and the pressure from nuclear fusion in its core, pushing everything outwards. However, this equilibrium can't last forever. Once the star exhausts its nuclear fuel, gravity gets the upper hand, the star's core collapses under its own weight causing the outer layers to explode outwards in a supernova. This supernova isn't just a grand cosmic spectacle, it's also the critical turning point where a black hole can form. If the mass of the original star's core is about three times that of our sun or more, the force of gravity overwhelms all other forces. It pulls in everything, including light, creating a region of space where nothing can escape. A black hole. But, it doesn't end there. The newly formed black hole continues to grow by absorbing mass from its surroundings. It feeds on interstellar gas, dust, and even other stars. As this matter falls into the black hole it forms an accretion disk around the event horizon, the point of no return. So you see, black holes are not just empty space or cosmic vacuums. They are fascinating objects with incredible densities and gravitational pull. They are the ultimate recyclers of the universe, taking in dying stars and other celestial matter, and reshaping them into something entirely different. And thus, from the remnants of a dying star, a black hole is born. You'd be surprised to know that, not all black holes are the same. Indeed, the universe is a stage where black holes of different sizes and masses perform their celestial ballet. Let's delve into the three main types of black holes, stellar, supermassive, and intermediate, each with its own distinct characteristics. First off, we have stellar black holes. These are the most common types formed from the remnants of massive stars. When such a star has burned out the last of its fuel, it collapses under its own gravity, creating a supernova explosion that can outshine an entire galaxy. What remains is a dense core, or if the core's mass is sufficient, it further collapses into a stellar black hole. We're talking about 20 times the mass of our sun or more, condensed into a space no larger than a city, that's like cramming Mount Everest into a teacup. Next, we have the supermassive black holes, the true titans of the universe. These are found at the centers of galaxies, including our own Milky Way. They have masses of millions, even billions of times that of our sun. How they form remains a mystery, but one idea is that they might form from a cluster of black holes that merge together. Supermassive black holes play a crucial role in the formation and evolution of galaxies. Finally, we have the intermediate black holes. These are the middle children of the black hole family, 
with masses ranging between a hundred and a million times that of our sun. Their existence was long debated but recent discoveries of these elusive black holes provide the missing link between stellar and supermassive black holes, so there you have it. From the stellar black holes born from dying stars, to the supermassive black holes anchoring galaxies, and the elusive intermediate black holes, these cosmic phenomena are as diverse as they are fascinating. Each type of black hole with its unique characteristics adds to the complexity and wonder of our universe. The mystery of black holes continues to fascinate scientists and laymen alike. These cosmic enigmas, with their gravitational pull so strong that nothing, not even light can escape, are still a hotbed of research and speculation. The more we delve into their mysteries the more intriguing they become. One of the most fascinating aspects of black holes is their relationship with the theories of relativity and quantum mechanics. Einstein's theory of general relativity, which explains gravity as a curvature of space and time, predicts the existence of black holes. Yet the theory breaks down within a black hole's singularity, where the curvature of space-time becomes infinite. This is where quantum mechanics, the science of the very small, comes into play. But quantum mechanics and general relativity are notoriously difficult to reconcile, leading to what is known as the black hole information paradox. The information paradox poses the question, what happens to the information about the physical state of things that fall into a black hole? According to quantum mechanics, this information should be conserved, not lost. But in a black hole it seems to disappear forever. This contradiction between the two pillars of modern physics is one of the biggest unanswered questions about black holes. Moreover, researchers are trying to understand more about the event horizon, the boundary around a black hole from which there is no return. There are speculations about what an observer falling into a black hole would experience. Would they be stretched into a long, thin strand, a process humorously termed spaghettification? Or would they encounter a firewall, a proposed violent phenomenon at the event horizon? Then, there's the mystery of what lies inside a black hole. Is it a portal to another universe as some speculate, or something entirely different? We are yet to discover. Black holes with their enigmatic nature continue to be a subject of intense research and speculation. They are a testament to the vastness of the universe and the endless quest for knowledge. The more we learn about them, the more they seem to defy our understanding and perhaps that's what makes them so irresistibly intriguing. What a journey it's been exploring these cosmic vacuums, hasn't it? We embarked on this voyage of discovery together, diving deep into the heart of one of the universe's most intriguing phenomena, black holes. We started off by defining what black holes are, regions of space-time exhibiting gravitational acceleration so strong that nothing, not even particles and electromagnetic radiation such as light, can escape from it. They are the silent observers of the cosmos, holding secrets that could potentially revolutionize our understanding of the universe. Next, we delved into how these celestial mysteries come to life. Born from the remnants of massive stars after they collapse under their own gravity, black holes are the ultimate endgame of stellar evolution. We also explored the different types of black holes, stellar, supermassive, and intermediate, each with their unique traits and characteristics. From the stellar black holes that are up to 20 times more massive than our sun, to the supermassive ones lurking at the centers of galaxies, including our very own Milky Way. And of course we discussed the ongoing research about these cosmic enigmas. Scientists are constantly unearthing new information about black holes, deepening our knowledge and understanding of the universe in the process. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this fascinating topic. Leave a comment below and let's keep the conversation going until next time keep exploring keep learning.